Today, our KPRC team did its part to help with this year's critical blood shortage. The need for blood and pellets has been dire since the pandemic. Yeah, but it gets worse during the holidays when businesses and schools are closed and not hosting blood drives. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has details on the local need and new requirements on who can donate. You may have heard that one donation can save three lives. I spoke to a woman today who says you never know when it could be you or someone you love. A rare blood disease occurred uh, where my blood depleted out of my body. Janice Weaver suffers a condition that required an extraordinary amount of blood transfusions. 29 days of isolation and several hundred units of plasma is what saved my life. For patients in the hospital with conditions like Janice, cancer patients, trauma and car accidents, Cameron Palmer with the Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center says they need a lot of blood daily. And at this time of year, it's harder to come by. We just see lower donor participation in our donor centers and in our mobile drives. And this is just a great time to just remind our community that people are still in need of blood. Our hospitals still need that thousand units of blood every day just to, you know, for treatment for patients. With schools out, businesses closed for the holiday, cold weather, fewer people get out to donate at a time when more are eligible. The FDA allowed gay and bisexual men to donate if they had not had sexual contact with other men for a year and then reduced that time to to three months because of severe shortages during the pandemic, with the FDA now weighing the possibility of eliminating that policy for monogamous men in the future. Weaver says since her close call 10 years ago, she's been a huge advocate for people to donate. She hosts drives and encourages friends and family to give all year round. For more details on how you can donate this holiday season, go to clicktohouston.com. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.